All right, what's happening world? What's happening YouTube? If you are returning, thank you for coming back to watch another video. If you are brand new, welcome to the Team Scat Cat channel. Again, if you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, thumbs up, thumbs down, give me whatever you want. Just make sure that I know that you was viewing this video and give me your critiques. You know, we seen on one of the last videos that, you know, somebody didn't really enjoy my uh, my video too much but you know I I appreciate his critique whoever that is you know thank you for watching fam you got me a view so hate it or love it you got me a view so it is what it is but I killed him with kindness in my response so you guys can check back on my five things I hate about the uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat for that one because I mean I thought I handled it pretty well but I mean you know I know I know a lot of us just don't even worry about the haters but every now and then you know it's, you know the haters bring us a little bit of fun in our lives so you know whatever I'll respond to a hater I don't care but anyway, ladies and gents, before we get to the topic and the uh, install of this video, I just wanted to say that, uh, well, more or less it was more like a shout out to all of you guys. Yesterday, I got a pretty cool little email with like some fireworks, stuff like that. For you guys that have been on YouTube, you already know what that is, but that's the first time I've ever seen it. So YouTube alerted me that I had surpassed the 100, the coveted 100 subscriber mark. So you know what, I appreciate all of you guys who are subscribing, who are tuning into this channel. I am just as grateful for the 100 subscribers on YouTube as I was for the 100 follower mark on Instagram. And I like you can look back at my Instagram, you can see I made a whole big post about it and everything. And I'm gonna make I'll make posts about all that stuff. Like actually, let me just go up a little further and say on Instagram, thank all you guys who tuned into my Instagram because I just hit 3K, I hit the big 3,000 on Instagram. So that's like that's damn cool, guys. So you know I really appreciate everybody who has contributed to that, who's contributing to the YouTube, whether you came to my YouTube through my Instagram, which is you know what I try to do, I try to get most of my traffic of my YouTube through my Instagram, but I mean, you know, with the last couple videos, you know, I guess they've been spreading around a little bit, they're not viral or nothing, but the videos have been spreading around a little bit on the, little bit on the YouTube scene, so I appreciate everybody new and old who comes to check out these videos, I really appreciate you guys. So before I get, I already got sapped on Instagram for that stuff, but like, you know, first and foremost, thank you guys for the 100 followers. I hope to have 100 more and hundreds and hundreds more as the time goes on, as I keep giving you guys content. So again, I'm gonna stop, sound like a broken record. Thank you guys for the 100 followers and thank you guys for the 3,000 followers on Instagram. I really appreciate that. But enough of my sappiness. I think it's time to get into the, so the subject of this video today and that is we're gonna be making the Banshee's cabin a little bit more welcoming a little bit brighter with some diode dynamics so yeah guys we're gonna be doing some diode dynamics installs today nothing too crazy no color change RGBW nothing like that I might do that in the future but right now I kind of like not having anything color change on my Hellcat my Challenger that was a different idea you guys can look back at my Instagram and see that I installed the RGBW halos all that good stuff I love that look on my scat pack but my Hellcat went to be a little bit simpler so with my order of diode dynamics, I went a little bit simpler. As I just mentioned before, we're gonna be doing some cabin lighting and we're also gonna be doing some trunk lighting. I know a lot of guys, uh, a lot of guys, excuse me, a lot of Mopar owners do this when they get their Chargers, Challengers, etc. You know, uh, you know, just that, that, to me, that, you know, that dingy kind of yellow light, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like everything to look, you know, crisp and cool. Make it, I mean, to me, it feels a little bit more modern when you have like a cooler white light in there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So now before we get started, we're not gonna be doing an unboxing for this because it's just one, two, three, yeah. It's just, it's three little packages. So it's nothing crazy. We're not gonna do a crazy unboxing like I did with my Lux Auto Concepts or anything like that or any of my other mods that will come for the future. But like I told you guys before, every little mod, every big mod, I am enjoying the process. I'm taking this process slow with the Hellcat because I rushed a lot for the Scat Pack. So for everything big or small that happens to the Hellcat, you guys are gonna be right there with me, next to me, in there with me basically you know installing it with me so before we get into actually installing everything I'm just gonna show you guys what we got and pretty basically what you're gonna need for this install if you're doing like a, a total overhaul with all of the lights on the interior you know you might need a couple more tools but for this short little one we're gonna need only some minuscule things so I'm gonna show you what that stuff is so for or should I say in my diode dynamics purchase I got some HP 5 LED bulbs those will be for the cabin 
I got some HP3 LED bulbs. So basically both of these are gonna be bright to cool white. I don't really have a preference between it. You know, I just wanted the brighter white color. And for the trunk, we've got the SML9 LED. So all of these, basically, they're gonna be LED bulbs. They're gonna go in the two lights in the, uh, the map. I guess you call them the map lights. Two lights in, right under the oh shit handles in the back passenger size. And then these are gonna go, obviously, in the trunk on the two lights that you guys always see when you pop your trunk open. So for what you need for this, just a little interior removal tool. Doesn't matter where you get it from. I got these off of Amazon for I think like 10 bucks. It was like a three or five piece set, something like that. You're gonna need a screwdriver kit, but you don't have to go gusto like I'm doing. I think uh, for the rear passenger, I think it's like a T13. So I think you're gonna need one of these guys here. You're gonna need one of these guys just with, you know, to interconnect with a screwdriver. That way you can loosen up the oh shit handles, take those out, and put in your bulbs. Now, of course, before I start all my stuff, you see from my Dodge Track Day package, I got my signature Demon and SRT Hellcat branded sunglasses, because I'm gonna be doing it outside because it's gonna be a little hot. But also, you see my lanyard right next to the oh so beautiful 707 horsepower red key. You don't gotta worry about my gym membership, but you see my Gentleman's Driving Club lanyard right here. Don't forget the guys to go follow Gentleman's Driving Club and also go follow Devotees Official. Use my codes that are gonna be in the description of this video and also on every post on my Instagram so you guys get a cool little percentage off. But other than that, my little shameless plug aside, I think it's time to brighten up the inside of my car. All right, ladies and gents, so we are inside the Hellcat now. Now, before I start tearing stuff apart, you wanna make sure that you've got your proper bulb separated, or at least in my case, I wanna make sure I got my proper bulb separated for where I'm gonna put them. So, as I said before, we're gonna have our HP5 bulbs. Uh, there we go, we're gonna have our HP5 bulbs. Those are gonna be up front here, basically, right at these lights here. So I'm gonna leave that up here. HP3 lighting bulbs are gonna go to the back, so I'm just gonna leave that on my center console. And this is where I'm gonna start first. So I'm gonna start with the trunk lights. And that's gonna be, obviously, these guys are a little bit easier to discern because duh, these don't look like any other bulbs you got. So we're gonna move to the trunk first, and we're gonna get this started. All right, so we're inside the trunk right now. For this light, all you're gonna need is you're just gonna need your interior removal tool. This is, this is all you're gonna need for that. Make sure you got your your light bulbs handy. There we go, little folks. Let me make sure you got your light bulbs handy. And let's just get to prying, man. That's all we gotta do here. Let's just get up in there. Oh, take them out. Don't worry, you're not gonna hurt nothing on your car. It's all plastic anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Just lit up and out there. Boom, there we go. Check that out. There you go. So there's your bulb, that's what it looks like. And it's gonna look the same way on the other side too, so. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some gloves real quick because this thing is Mondo hot, so stand by. All right, now I'm back with my gloves here. Now these gloves are a little bit more heavy duty. You probably don't need these gloves, but you know, just to make sure we're getting safety first as always. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this bad boy first. If I can unplug this bad boy first. Oh, oh, I see, I see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing wrong here. There we go. So you got a little tab in there that you just want to push down and then shimmy her out. Boop. There you go. So there's your light. Oh, there goes the mailman. Bye, mailman. All right, so now we're going to open up our bulbs from Dive Dynamics. Whoa, don't drop them. Get a little better look at them. So here you go. Here's your bulb from Diode Dynamics. Obviously you're seeing that these two clips here are gonna do exactly what they're advertised to do, and they're gonna clip in in the opposite spot of where your stock bulb was. Okay, and so now, for your bulb, all you're gonna to wanna to do is slightly push this end forward so that this end here unlatches. And then just move it out of there. Boom, there you go. Look at that, see, came out real easy. Dummy proof, boom. Got our stock bulb, probably wanna save this guy, and boy, I can feel it through the glove. This is hot. Now you wanna make sure 
that your actual diodes are facing the inside so yeah obviously so that way it's gonna shine out through here so we're gonna do set we're gonna do the reverse now we're gonna latch it on through here whoops I done embarrassed myself you know what actually no we're gonna do it the same way we took it out so we're gonna latch it on through here with this end here and then simply obviously I'm just doing this to show you guys I'm gonna flip it around but then obviously you just wanna make sure that you latch it in make sure your diodes are facing forward and just move it forward you probably don't need your gloves for this but you know it is what it is boom there you go now let's see if we're gonna get some light hey -oh. and we sure do god damn that is bright all right so now what you're gonna do is just put old girl back in boom clicked in noise there you go so now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side So now I took a break out to show you guys. So I plugged it back in, and we're not getting any light. Well, Dodd Dynamics tells you that if you plug your light in, your LED, and you're not getting any light, to flip it 180, and then you should have light. So we're gonna try that right now. And bingo, look at that, lights up. So. If you're not getting light your first time, don't freak out. Just flip it 180. Make sure your LEDs are still facing out, and you should be good to go. So we're going to get this back in. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of an awkward angle, but I got my camera positioned, I think, pretty correctly. So now we're going to work on all you see them timing out right there. So now we're going to work on our map lights because I'm going to save the... Uh, passenger rear dome lights for last because you know you got to do some screws and a couple things such and such like that so we're going to work on the map lights first now you will make sure the first thing that you do you got your little dial here you see me fiddling with it right now so you got your dial here right next to your steering wheel on the left bottom side so you want to make sure that you got them lights boom got them lights turned off that way they're not going to come back and bite you you don't freaking shock yourself or something goofy like that but right now we're going to work on getting these little protective cases or casings I guess see they're still gonna turn on but you just want to make sure that you're not gonna time everything back on with your dial there so just gonna make sure you get your casings make sure you get this stuff off so that's what we're gonna work on now with our pry tool all right so for these guys here you're gonna want to be a little bit more uh, assertive if you will boom Make sure you just kind of work your way in through there. So I just want to turn that off. There we go. So now I'll work my way through it. Get up on the other side. Yeah. There you go. Got that in. So now I'm just going to loosen up the other guy over here now. Got him. So there you go. So this one just basically the top end here, as you can kind of see, just has a clip that in the end you're just gonna shove it all back in anyway. But I want to make sure that you got that. Alright, there we go. Got that guy loosened. Now I want to get my other guy here loosened. Hello. And don't worry, you're not gonna break nothing. You might slip around here and there, but you're not gonna break nothing. Now, I'm going to make sure that I got my other clips here. I'm not bending them too much. We're not going to do too much damage, but, you know, we also don't want to break those clips off either. So I got one end out here. Make sure I get my other end. There we go. So, took a little bit of Jimmy in, but there you go. There's your clips here, clips there and a clip there so now you're just going to do the same thing on the other side 
Don't be afraid to put a little bit of elbow grease in it. Boom. Got him. There you go. Shoo. I'm sweating already in this damn car, man. It's hot. It's hot in Florida. So now you can see. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, we'll keep you guys right there. So you can see right here, this. There it goes like that. There you go. This guy right here is the bulb that we're changing. Same thing on the other end. We're swapping out that guy right there. So now these should just be more of a pop out. All right. So having a little bit of trouble getting that bulb out. I just don't want to like grow in and like friggin grab it or is, is that what I should do actually no nah, that's not what I should do because I don't want to break a bulb here in my hand and have glass everywhere that's just not the look man so I don't want to do that so I'm thinking thinking I'm gonna take a look at it with a actual flashlight we're gonna get right back into this after I get a solution all right upon further review learning that Dire Dynamics actually suggests you use some masking tape or just some, you know, some tape period to try and loop it around the actual bulb. So that way you have a little bit more luck getting it out. So I got some tape and that's what I'm gonna try right now. So let's, let's try this together. So I'm just gonna take this tape here. I am going to wrap it around the bulb. Hey, look at that. Look at how that trick worked there. So there you go. A little bit of tape around your bulb. Just pop it right out. So I'm going to take that tape off now. I'm going to set my bulb here to the side. And I'm going to see if I can just reuse this piece of tape. And maybe then I don't have to waste more paper. It doesn't seem like I'd have to because I got it right here. Boom. <laughs> hey, got him. The tape works everybody the tape works there you go look at that. look at how easy that was so there you go other bulb these are both pretty cool right now so now put that bulb to the side and now we're gonna grab our dynamics hp5 lighting system so open these up and same rules apply so if you plug these bulbs in and you don't get any light flip them around 180 and you should be good to go Hey, oh, almost lost my bulb, almost embarrassed myself. I just went and lost a bulb that I just bought. And these are three year warranty too, so the way you're gonna be set. Let me just make sure, where's my, uh, where's my flashlight? Let me make sure here that I'm plugging in the right way. Sure looks it. Okay, here we go, wish me luck. Okay, there you go. I didn't get shocked, so easy day. So you can kind of see there how the bulb looks. No, don't focus on my phone. There you go. You can kind of see there how the bulb looks in it. So let's give it a test. Oh my God. I think I damn near blinded myself. All right, well, oh, geez, I can't look at that. All right, well, there you go. So one bulb is installed. Didn't have to flip her around 180. Let's try the other bulb here. Oh man, I can't even see in the dark now because I just went and straight up blinded myself. All right, let's give the other bulb a try. Oh shit, I need my sunglasses. Oh, all right. So there you go, ladies and gents. They are both installed and they pretty much, they pretty much drown out this goofy like circuit light, which shouts out to honestly OCD and his channel. I was looking at his channel and also Dial Dynamics channel on just a couple of quick little um, tips and tricks on how to flip these guys out. So, but this stuff here, honestly, OCD sort of determined these are almost like a circuit of some sort. So, not going to fool around with that. I think once I get the guard back on, this light here is basically going to drown out that light there. So, but we'll see. I'm about to put those on right now. All right. So, before I put my stuff on here, I'm going to, this is a rare opportunity for me as I love making sure I don't have any fingerprints, leave any traces, if you will. I'm just gonna give these guys, these little heat shields here, a quick little wipe down. All right, I think we're good to go here. I'm gonna put that back in my center console, because you know, always gotta keep a good little microfiber on you, just in case. So, I'm gonna start with the right side here. You guys are just gonna get your clips here. Boom, both clips. 
just take these two guys, slide them in first, and then clip in your top side. It's pretty much, you know, the reverse of how you took it off. All right, so now, boom. There you go, we got that guy. And there you go, so there is one side with the shield on, one side with the shield off. I was kind of right about the shield on this side, sort of blotting out this yellowish light here, but I think in the long run, I'm not really gonna notice it too much. So now, I'm just gonna go back to getting my left side done here. Boom. Oh. Uh oh. I have to do a redo here on this side because we got a little stuck on my end. Clip in that side. There we go. And we got her. Boom. All right. Let's give it one final test. Boom. There you go. There's both lights. Good to go. All right. Everything looks pretty snug. The buttons work, so good to go. Now, let's move on to the final pair in the back. All right, and now we've moved to the back of the car now. If you couldn't just hear that, yeah, that. So, of course, it was just bright and sunny a minute or two ago. Now I had to close the garage because it is torrentially downpouring outside, but that's all good. That's why we got a garage in the first place. So, now we're in the back here, and we're going to work on this. So, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to take this off. And we'll take this off. Take this down. Take down your oh shit handle. And these two little guys right here, these are actually uh, hidden clips. So you're just gonna wanna get your pry tool and just sorta pry those bad boys off, yeah? See, there you go. Oh God, I almost embarrassed myself, I lost it. So there's that one. And then there's that one. So there you go. So there are your two screws right here. It is obviously a hex screw, like I said, I don't know the hex measurement, but if you've got a, excuse me, if you've got a screwdriver set, you're probably going to have the hex tool attachments. So I'm just going to find a hex tool that works for that, and we'll be right back, and we'll get to taking this light off. All right, so I got my hex piece ready, so we're just going to work on taking this bad boy off. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey, all this. You want to know another thing that I figured out, just doing this just now. These back seats are damn comfortable, man. Like, like they are they are really comfortable. All right, I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna lose this bad boy, so I'm gonna just shove that back in there, hold that, and then do my other side here. Okay, so, all right, upon loosening both of those bad boys, this is gonna promptly come out. I wanna make sure that I grab my screws here so that they are not falling in my garage and I'm losing them so there's one use this guy to put the other his brother out they are a little difficult to actually get out there we go they're just a little caved in there all right so I'm gonna put these down real quick dry my wet ass off all right so now that we've got this out, you're going to take these two clips here, basically, if you can see them, this guy and that guy, and you're just going to pop that out here, and then you will have removed your oh shit handle from your lamp. So, as I was trying to get those other tabs out, I almost forgot that when you flip this bad boy around, these, you kind of can't see them here, I can't get a good bead on them um, come on baby let's do it let's do it there you go you can kind of see so here you go so see these two guys here those are two other clips that you just gotta just kind of gotta force a little bit of pressure in boom try the other side here boom and there you go there goes your oh shit handle and i'm no longer embarrassing myself so there you go as you can see we still got power there's your bulb there so we are just going to take off basically the the plastic insert here we're going to take that off give it a little bit of pressure boom easy easy slide it in and out clips right there so there you go and then this is a little bit easier but make sure you want to get some sort of backing behind your bulb there use your pry tool and just sort of, sort of shove the old guy out of there boom look at that easy day got your bulb 
All right, and we're back with our HP3 LED bulbs. So, as I said before, and I will say again, same rules apply. If you don't get light on your first attempt, flip your bulb around 180 degrees and reinstall. Make sure you got it lined up on the tracks correctly. This can be a little tricky. Just gotta make sure you got it lined up. Come on now. There we go. Let's see. Oh, and we have light. All right, so you can just test it. Test it with your little bulb here. Your little bulb button, I guess, here. All right, so that light works. Where is my plastic clip? All righty, here we go. So now, we're gonna put it back on, same way we took it off. All right. And now, I'm gonna make sure you're all measured up here. I'm gonna make sure that I put the plastic back in the right way. It sure looks like I put the plastic back in the right way, but we will see with this moment of truth. All right, so now, you basically want to get your oh shit handle back into the way you had it beforehand. So that ought to do it here. Slide that and that into there. All right, looks like we got that good. All right, make sure all your clips are back in place. Looks like everything's snug. And then now we go back to our screwdriver and our screws, and then we just reinstall everything and you do likewise on the other side there you go so light timed out already so we can't test it out right now but we'll get to that in just a second but where did my little oh my little pieces are outside the car let me go grab those and that'll be the end of that now we got our little stealth pieces back in and this is all we want to do that's all you gotta do you ain't gotta use your tool anymore just make sure that you got your tracks lined up here, you'll see your grooves, and boom, back in place. And now, your oh shit handle is back in its rightful place. So now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but you guys want to see that, I'm just gonna do the other side myself, and then we'll give you guys a full overview of what everything looks like after we're done. So just stick with us. Alrighty, so I just finished the other side of my brighter oh shit handles. So now, we're gonna do the big big reveal and see everything as it is meant to be totally illuminated boom all right so there you go there's our map light you can see in the corner there there is our oh shit handle and let me flip it around real quick that's my that's my little my floodlight i was using because it's magnetic see so i was putting it on there <laughs> see that's a little secret right there and then there's our other ocean handle and if we come right around let's do a little magic we come right around to the back here there you go there are both of our trunk lights so let me make sure that's in there it looked like it was loose for a second so there you go that's everything everything is good to go everything looks a lot brighter let me you know let me do a real quick comparison let me shut the uh, as you can see it, the rainstorm here in florida lasted for all about uh 13 14 minutes as it usually tends to do but i'm gonna shut the garage real quick we're gonna see how bright this really is yeah i like this a lot better a lot a lot better so to answer my initial problem here on the steering wheel you can still kind of see that uh you can still kind of see that yellowish map light or that yellowish vanity light there but i mean you know what when you back out honestly i'm not too upset with it so i don't really have the need to change that plus i'm not going to go in flipping all these different circuits and replacing circuits and stuff like that so yeah there you go. Diode Dynamics LED interior kit or kits, I guess. And all in all cost me about I'll say approximately 55 to 60 bucks. So, I mean, not too bad for a small purchase if I do say so myself. Not too bad at all.
All right, everybody, and that is it for this video, or should I say for this installation. Mission accomplished, everybody. We got it done. All in all, probably took me about 15 minutes. I, you know, probably, I'm probably overestimating. Probably more like 10 minutes, but it takes a little bit more time, you know, when you're trying to set up, you know, lighting, especially when, you know, it's lighter now. You can see the light reflecting in because the sun just came back out again. But, you know, when a friggin' typhoon rolls in and all this good stuff makes everything dark, you gotta go take a break, you gotta go grab a light. And also, I mean, it's still Florida, so you can kind of see that I am, um, yeah, I look disgusting. That was 10 minutes of just sitting in my car with the garage door open, I might add, with the cold front coming in from the storm, but still sweating like a pig. I don't know, that must just be me, but I can't stand the Florida humidity anyway, so that's what happened there. But anyway, that's all we had to do today. Little, little mod done, but like I said, every mod, every one small, any one big, you guys are gonna be there right with me for this build and for everything that happens with this Hellcat. So let me do all my shameless plugs. Of course, first, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. That's Hellish Banshee right there, so make sure you go follow that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs down, I don't care. I still tell them that you watched it, ha <laughs> But make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please spread the word. Let everybody see the Team Sky Cat channel. You know, we're all, we're all car fam. We're all trying to get everybody to eat. We're all trying to help everybody eat. So. Other than that, I just want to say one more time, thank you guys for the 100, 100 subscribers. I try to get followers and subscribers a little mixed up. Thank you guys for the 100 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys for the 3,000 and probably at this time of this taping a little bit over 3,000 followers on Instagram. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. I couldn't have been doing this or had the confidence to do this without starting that Instagram and all you guys on that Instagram anyway, so I really appreciate each and every one of you guys who did that. Also, if you guys want a little bit more of a reference on how I figured out how to do this, you guys can check out uh, the video on the Dial Dynamics YouTube, and you guys can also check out the video, this big shout out to him, Honestly OCD. His video is what I watched before I did this installation. It gave me, you know, a couple little bookmarks to go back and check and make sure I was doing everything right. He went real in the weeds with that circuit breaker thing like I kept meant that circuit light like I kept mentioning before but if you want to see the rest of that I'm not gonna take his shine away you guys go check out his channel and go check out his video to see what he did with that and the follow-up with that also if you guys are looking to do this on the opposite side on my old side RIP on the challenger side you guys go check out Hemi fam, you go check out his video of him installing Dodd Dynamics and I, th I think it's a Challenger Hellcat. It's a Challenger nonetheless, but I think it's a Challenger Hellcat. I'll put the link to those videos all in my description below. I don't really know how I do the cards stuff, like do I put one up there, do I put one up there? If I figure it out, you guys will see the cards on there too, linking you to those videos as well. Cause like I said, we all car fam, we all gotta eat and I'm helping all those other guys eat too. So without further ado, those are all my plugs. Again, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow my sponsors, Devo Tees Official and Gentleman's Driving Club. Make sure you get those guys on Instagram. And if you go shopping, make sure you look in my Instagram and the descriptions in my video to get a little bit of this. Well, not, you're not gonna get this, but you're gonna get a little bit less of this to spend. You're gonna get some percentage off on all of your purchases. So, as always, thank you guys for watching and take care, YouTube. We'll see you guys in the next one.